오실 많은 그 질문들과 얘기를 나오고 있다가 한국에 처음 오신 분들이 많았습니다. 다행히도 날씨나 모든 면에서 아주 좋은 환경을 보여주게 되었고 그리고 또 이행사를 아주 성공적으로 마칠 수 있게 되어서 대한민국에 대한 아주 좋은 인사를 남겼다고 생각합니다. 그러니까 Then I cannot disclose it to the public right now. We are in other discussions with many. But yes, that is imminently uh, in, uh, in the work for it. And so then it is accepted to the international community. So it is not a good thing. I have to do it. 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 그 말씀 못 드리지만 요즘 뭐잘 진행되고 지켜보고 있습니다. 예, 그 저가 공사들이 취향을 경쟁을 하고 있습니다. 저희도 그 외에 속해 있고 어, 지금까지 어, 한 12년 이상은 그 대한공원 역시 그 저가 공사와 참여하는 전략으로 그 시장에 그 그냥 지켜보고 있었는데 최근 들어서 그 시장 동향을 보면 그더 이상은 간과할 수가 없다는 것을 어 느끼고 있습니다. 그 최근에 이제 저희 내부적으로 많은 그 검토와 그 회의를 의견을 이제 나눠본 결과 과감한 전략으로 대응을 해나가도록 하겠습니다. transport summit. Um, first of all, thank you all for joining us. Um, it's been a, a great day and a half. Um, my name is Sony Fonsel. I'm the head of communications uh, with IATA, and it's been particularly uh, great AGM to have been able to welcome some 350 journalists uh, to cover this, which is a record. Um, I'm here with um, three excellent uh, leaders in the industry, Mr. Walter Cho, the chief executive of Korean Air, who was the president of the AGM, Mr. Karsten Spohr, who's the chief executive of Lufthansa, and also the uh, incoming, uh, actually current. Um, 2050, our emissions will be half of the one of 2005. We are the only industry to have done that. And uh, to have successfully convinced 193 governments to adopt a worldwide program called Corsia to help this, uh, this um, carbon reduction policy. Come on, stop stop calling us polluters. Imagine taking a taxi to the airport, more than parking your car at the airport. I do believe that we are not balancing the price of what we are basically selling, whether it's the value we are creating. I'm not talking about the economic issues. This is to be decided by the airlines. But the environmental impact this has for so little cost creates a political debate, which then has a negative impact on the whole industry. 
Lesson number one of this. Well, I think we need our stick. You said there focusing <laughs> on access and things like that was was really spot on. Uh, I think that you know when you know it's my Maya Angelou moment for everybody is you know not what I say, but it's how I make you feel when I say it. And I think that the most important message that I have today is that everybody in this room, I see a lot of people my age, maybe a little bit older. From the point of view of IOTA and of being about aviation is the business of freedom. You've raised a really important point when we were discussing that it's not just the physical freedom of travel, it's the cycle of travel. Where do you believe this industry needs to step up in its genuine awareness and taking the resolutions that have been passed? Uh, what did they make a shift uh, in the job market? Changes are going to affect the way we get people on board, literally and figuratively. What are the workforce and the skills of the future that we need uh, and we need to develop? And last, but not least, uh, which kind of leadership is then needed to tackle and to cope with all these changes?